Hey everyone, welcome back to Kali Plants. Me again, Mark. Today, we're doing a plant update. Okay, this could be a plant vlog or a little tour because a lot of my succulents have been dying recently. Okay, but before we go into the greenhouse, I have something to show you here at the balcony of our house. So I just placed this recently here and look how well this one is doing. Look at that. Look at the size of that Graptopetalum paraguayense. Okay, so we have this head, large head right here. Okay, we have two more larger heads here. The, these are the main stems that it came in. And you can see along this uh, side, along these branches, um, there are already a lot of different pups going up. Okay, I think there was only two in here, but now there are more than two. And they all look like they're the same size. So yeah, I'm just letting them grow here. And probably later on, we will be up-potting this. We will be moving this into a larger container so that we can let it grow and let it hang down. Okay, so we have that. So now let's just go on to our greenhouse. The summer season hasn't been really kind to my succulents. Okay, a lot of my succulents have died, really. And yeah, I'm actually not, you know, not encouraged or not inspired to go into the greenhouse because... Um, I'm seeing a lot of death. So yeah, I'm trying to neglect them more because what I do sometimes with these struggling plants, I water them too much and yeah, that actually adds to the problem. So now I'm ignoring them, okay, hoping that they will survive. That is one strategy that I'm doing. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you some of the succulents that I'm talking about. So this one, I just found this this morning and it's already looking like that. And um, you can see that the tips had gotten rot or sunburn. And I'm just removing these upper, upper leaves, okay? And maybe we can rescue this one still, okay? Let me just take off the... Because I think the branch down there is still long. So yeah, we're gonna be chopping off the tip on this one. Okay, so I got my... Yeah, okay, so I got some alcohol. This will just be a very rushed... Um, cleaning process, okay. Get some tissue, wipe that up. And do the same on the other side, okay. Yeah. See. So, yeah. Then we're gonna be chopping off the tips here. Okay. Oh no, there's still some wood inside. So we're gonna have to cut deeper. this goes on too deeply then we might just toss the plant out okay oh no there is some stem water there so yeah this this one is a goner i think oh this is so depressing okay, this is so sad okay so that's one plant down okay i have another one right here this beyond okay i never really had success with this one always struggled with it okay so yeah let me just take this one though let's just take this up this one has been dry for too long okay so now there is also some good things here we got this flowering cotyledon really really nice the flowers on that one last a very long time Really, really nice. Okay. And we also have some flowering on this gymnocalisium. So on this plant, I'm having a lot more success with the potting mix on this one. But on the others, I'm not having any success. And I'm not even sure if this is the problematic potting mix that I'm trying to solve because I have a lot of my succulents planted in a problematic type of potting mix. Okay, so yeah. Um, these ones, I just watered them very recently. These are the new plants that we have. So yeah, those are looking good. Um, for now, there is this pink. I think this is the white dew. Okay. Or uh, I'm not sure which of these two is the white dew and the arandron, I think. Uh, that's their name. We get this Molochiniensis from the highlands. Okay. So these ones, I planted them in um, Alnus compost and some other type of potty mix. And I've been top watering them just so to make sure that they won't get overwatered. 
So now I think another strategy that I will be doing with my succulents is I will be top watering them. I won't be bottom watering a lot of them for now. Okay, probably those established ones I will bottom water, but for the others, for most of them, I think it will just top water. Okay, this one has been getting flappy, but now it has gotten firm, so I can say that the plant is already rooting up and it's drinking water. So, with the jade plants, I don't have issues with rotting with a lot of them, probably with difficulty establishing. Okay, this is one that has some difficulty establishing because. Yeah, this is the problematic potting mix that I've been talking about. Yeah, this is some type of like soilless potting mix that I bought because it was much cheaper than the Alnus compost, and the plants are not establishing well in in that type of potting mix. So that is really a problem with me. And you can see my adromiscus are dying right here. Okay, so I'm having a lot, a lot of problems. This one is drying up. Okay. So yeah, I'm really struggling with those. Okay, and there is also this end problem that I keep having on my plants. They keep um they keep adjusting the soil of the plant because I think they're hiving in there. Okay. Yeah, but there's no problem with the stem on this one. Okay, still good. So yeah, there's that. And um yeah. So with my agaboy, just a lot of them are drying up. Okay, this one is also dry because I haven't been watering those. Okay, this one is really a problem. Okay, I'm trying to see. Oh no, there's already rot on this one. Oh no. Yeah, so this is a problem. Um, I'm really not sure. Okay, you can see the crack and, and the inside. I think it has something to do with the ants. Because I saw a plant of mine, the Hera which had that problem um, it's gone now it used to sit here and yeah this is what remains of it the Echeveria Hera I have some pups that I managed to save but the main plant has died out okay? and I think the problem with that is the ants oh yeah is it the ants or is it rot so that's really depressing okay to see this one is already a throw away. I will probably just remove some leaves for propagation. Yeah, that's really sad. Summer has not been very good for me. For my plants. Has not has been too good with my plants. Okay, this Ariel is still doing well. Um, there is Alnus compost on this one. So yeah, this one isn't planted on pure Alnus. I think this is the soilless potting mix that I've been using. Yeah, so that's really bad. Okay. Yep. A lot of problems. With my other succulents, some of them are just slowing down in growth. So, yeah. Um, some of them are drying up, just like with this one. So, that's better. Okay, drying up is better than rotting. So, yeah. Um, on, over on this side, I have a lot of my pachyphytums. Okay, so this one is looking good. The other Frevel that I've had, the big one, um, that one died, sadly. So, yeah, we yeah, get, get this blue sky. I'm looking for the other one. Okay, so these are my Pachyphytum com uh, Compactum Propagations. They're now looking good. They're looking much better. Um, they're, they've grown a lot. Okay, so we get these. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, a lot of these... Uh, compactum propagations have died so these are the ones that i'm trying to grow and they're doing well so i have another one um where did i place it oh here it is okay so it's up here at front and center so i placed it here because it's not doing so well in there probably because it was like um not getting enough sun and the leaves weren't perking back up okay so we have that. We have these propagations. These are Pachyphytum Sky Beauties as well. And we have another, I'm setting another leaf propagation station right here. But this one, I think I'm going to be potting this up. Okay, I just beheaded my um, Chroma and Melaco. This is the Chroma. Okay, we got some root action there. I have dried this before I planted it in soil. So the Chroma that we have right here, okay, the beheaded bottom part of the stem 
is now producing these three heads really nice and with the milako we have this stem which is already producing other side branches as well so that's nice that's really nice so come for succulents are doing well oh no and we have ants right here okay. i just hate these ants okay i probably will have to find a solution for that okay what else um a lot of these plants here the acavarius on this side are plants that i'm struggling with but they're still doing well so yeah and what i intend to do later on today um, i will be repotting some of my succulents okay especially these ones this is the problematic potting mix that i've been talking about and the plants just are not rooting in there and it's really sad look at you see and you see them there's really no roots and the stem on this one just yeah, there are some air roots here so yeah we'll probably cut it and then we'll let it dry and then we'll reroot it into a new potting mix and i'm not sure if that is the same with this one because they're planted at the same time but as i'm touching it, it seems like it's intact okay this one not so good as well this is a sedum hintonia so yeah i've always had struggles with this one so we're gonna be changing up the potting mix on this one probably we will be up, up potting this cryptoviria where i got that okay we will moving it up to a bigger container this oviferum is not doing well either okay it's planted in the same bad pot mix yeah i'm gonna have to figure out okay let's put it here so that it gets more sun okay the sun is rising right now um this cotyledon that i've been trying to root isn't doing well okay but the other one the more established one doctor is okay this is the sedum that we get from the highlands and this is the focaria that we get from the highlands i have a crassula that we get from the highlands which died as well so that one got rot okay so this is yeah this is unsavable this is one of the stems of that crassula so this is unsavable this is just a, a sad thing right now okay I, I forgot this is the hera that we took off and this is what remains of the stem yeah and i'm hoping that this will callus so that we can still um keep it alive i have some lovely rose propagations here so i'll take these leaves okay i just noticed it right now and then we will pop it into our like these are lovely roses and we will pop it into our leaf propagation station okay so right here i just lay them like a tip first onto the soil and then the main stem are on the sides okay like this just so that the mother plant mother leaf won't like get rot okay i still have to water this by the way so let's water it in this video okay i will be top watering them this is a flower stalk that i got uh, from an ecaver outside and yeah i have success with the other flower stock that i have here where is it okay right here this is a flower stock plant okay this one is um you see this one is attached to a flower stock that used to be a long flower stock which recently got like rot and this stem popped out out of it okay and this is a graft of italian paraguayas so yeah, we're propagating we're doing a lot of propagation these are propagations as well um yeah so we're hoping to have success on that and let's just water this one yeah so but i think that um there's some positive to the plant dying thing because i have a new like i have some more space for new plants okay but yeah, i'm still hoping that we don't kill all of the succulents that we have here okay. So yeah, get that moistened up so that the roots will be in contact with the soil, but the mother plant is not in contact with the soil. So yeah, that's a nice use for our um, our clay pots, which is gifted to us by another grower in the community. Okay, thank you for that.
and we have these other grab token albums this one is doing really well for me this packet item they really need a lot of light so probably i will move a lot of my packet items here at the light the light source okay and for these ones for the dead ones in here yeah we're just gonna throw this one away this is the young jean and i really liked it it's one of those farina less succulents but yeah it died on me and with this one with the chihuahuaensis this one is even planted in a bad potting mix but it has stayed alive though it hasn't grown a lot but it has stayed alive okay so yeah we have that our beyonce is still doing well okay yep it is doing well but it's kind of out of shape probably it will be more in shape once it grows a little more okay this one um, i have success with this uh, nevada pot uh, recently this one is already established well this one the sunburned one is doing good okay so it's established it's firmly in there and i get a nice matador right here that i'm really proud of you can check it out i posted it on instagram okay so yeah we have a lot to do um, i will be repotting a lot of my succulents i will be up potting these ones they have already grown out of the pot yeah i think that's about it and i have some other plants here at the top okay but i have been neglecting my succulents a lot recently so yeah, i hope you like the update and the current situation of my plants here okay i hope you learned a few tips on how to take care of your succulents okay probably it has to do with the potting mix or sometimes it has something to do with the rot or with the ants so yeah um, we're all struggling right now okay if you are having problems like this during the summertime we're all struggling right now and i'm trying to keep my succulents alive but i'm not trying to water them too much so that they will um they wouldn't rot too much okay so i'm hoping that they will just uh, most of them will just last through into the winter season or into the rainy season because usually the rainy season is much more forgiving for me for my succulents here in my place okay so yeah i'm, I'm hoping that a lot of them will survive though um yeah we have a lot of space now because of the dying succulents so yeah i think that's another nice thing because i can buy more succulents okay and probably i will buy more once we get to the highlands and yeah i will be selling some succulents soon okay once we get you know once we get to another trip into the highlands okay i will be buying a lot more succulents because a lot of you are also asking me if i manage to buy a lot Okay. So yeah, I think that's about it for this video guys. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, comment down any requests that you would like us to discuss on our next videos. That's about it. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.